Welcome back friends. Today we are going to talk about the Waysafe True Toe. We're going to do a little overview. I'm going to show it to you and then we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the Waysafe. There's a little bit of both. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, before I turn the camera around and show this thing to you, uh, I want to give a huge thank you to Waysafe for sending us this true tow. Uh, we're involved in a summer long hitch battle. We're taking different hitches, hooking them up to the same truck and trailer and seeing which ones perform the best. Hopefully you uh, think about subscribing if you want to see more on that. But uh, yeah, huge thank you to Waysafe for sending us this one. Let's get started. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you its features first. Then we'll get into pros and cons. Okay, let's start with what I think is the most important feature of this hitch, and that is the app. And so they've done some calculations already for you. And once you get your trailer level, there's some instructions involved here, but once you get your trailer level, they're gonna ask you for your drop, how many holes can you see on the shank, and then it's gonna ask you for your trailer's weight. My, my trailer weighs 7,500 pounds. And then they're, they're gonna calculate your safe tongue weight between 750 and 1250, or 1125, sorry. My tongue weight is 985. The only reason I know that specifically is because of the scale, okay? Then they're going to come down here and based on some measurements you do from the center of your two axles and the rear axle of your tow vehicle, the center of your two axles on the trailer, of course, and the center of your tow vehicle's rear axle, uh, they're going to give you a distributed tongue weight of 2150. So that's how this thing dials itself in. The app dials the hitch in perfectly, and I think that is a huge feature. Let me go back and show you the scale that I'm talking about. Now, I want to be very clear, there's two different measurements they use. One is tongue weight, which is the weight of the tongue of your trailer without the bars engaged. And the other one is called distributed tongue weight, and that's when the bars are engaged. Uh, those are two different measurements they use. So when I just drop my trailer down on the hitch, I'm hitting almost to 1,000 pounds, about 985. And then once I, do, I uh, engage the bars, the trunnion bars here, it wants me to adjust the hitch to where I'm at 2,100 pounds, right? Because that's what's, that was the calculation they gave me. So yeah, it's a, it dials it in perfectly. And again, I think that's why this hitch is uh, a little different than others. Okay, we'll continue around the hitch itself now. I do like how they have it set up here at the shank. It's a locked pins, it's like three pins. The middle one locks, now that's very nice. This is an extra wide shank with that slot in here. So less play back here, less moving around. I do like that and it comes with the cover. This is the adjustment nut. So once you have uh, hooked up and you've got your measurement here, you adjust this to get your distributed tongue weight. So that uh, the, the wrench that comes when you're able, the wrench that comes with the hitch uh, actually has a three quarter inch uh, wrench on there that can you can adjust this nut here and get your desired distributed tongue weight all right uh, very nice build I mean this ball here is a piece of artwork in my opinion but this comes it comes with the ball out of here you have to insert the ball and then uh, tighten it in with that nut there obviously the ball moves up and down because it's on a scale you've got the hitch head here we'll talk about this in just a minute and just showing you around a little bit. It's a very, very nice build. And uh, that's one of the pros we'll talk about here in a minute. This side, you got a little zerk to grease, grease fitting. Yeah, just a very nice build. The bars are very heavy. Uh, I'll pull this out so you can see what this looks like. A little pin there. So you can see there's a nice insert there. And it sets in fully. There. And then back here in the saddles, the saddles are very heavy duty. I've been impressed with them. Uh, we, we did a saddle comparison between several hitches a couple videos ago. You can go watch this, but nice heavy parts here. You can see the thickness of this steel. So yeah, overall, it's a very, very nice build for sure. Let's talk about pros and cons a little bit. Let's get into the pros first. We'll start things off positive. There's only two pros, but the pros are significant. So uh, yeah, the pros outweigh the cons, even though there's more cons in number, 
the two pros far outweigh them. Uh, the first is build quality. This thing is built like a tank. I, I really like that. I like for there to be some meat back here. And I know a lot of you don't like heavier hitches. It could be a con for you that this is a heavy hitch. But to me, I like that. I like a heavy hitch. Um, I, like I said, I like to have some meat back here. And it's just a nice build. It's very well built. There's a couple of areas of concern I think they could improve upon. We'll talk about that in the cons. But overall, a very, very nice build. Again, like I said, this, this ball here, I even took a picture of it when I got it. It's like a piece of art to me. I know that sounds nerdy. Second pro, and the biggest pro that I could give any hitch, is its performance. This is so far, and let me be clear about that, so far, this is the best performing hitch I've ever used. And uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the app. A lot of that has to do with there's no trial and error. It dials itself in perfectly the first time. And it is dialed in perfect. Um, as far as I can tell, I, it's as close to zero sway as I've ever experienced. You know, most of these hitches are considered um, anti-sway or sway reduction. Um, they don't claim to completely eliminate sway. Uh, but this one is as close as I, as I have experienced. So, and again, I think that's because it's dialed in. Uh, but yeah, performance and build quality, probably the two biggest pros I could give it. Let's talk about cons a little bit. Okay, the first con that I found with the Waysafe True Toe is I've had to adjust this nut almost every single time I've towed with it. So you've got the scale, it's nice, it's nice that it's there, but it's one side, it's always a little less every time I hook it up. So each time I have to tighten this nut a little bit and, um, and adjust the scale back to where it needed to be. You would feel like that you would only have to adjust it once, but I've had to adjust this one every single time. So. I feel like this is tight. This is, I think, I feel like this right here tightens this and keeps it from moving. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there, but yeah, I've had to adjust it slightly every time I've hooked up. Second con about the True Toe, and that is this little pin right here. It drives me nuts that they use this for this pitch. This hitch is way too nice to have this little chintzy pin right here. I would love to see them use something similar to this, something that I, I just feel like I'm going to lose this little tiny pin every time I take it out. So I would love to see them use something similar to this where I have this already hooked up. I don't think this one will work, it'd be too small, but you get you catch my drift there. So yeah, that's a con there. Also, let me turn you around and show you these hitch heads. So while I consider this a con, the fact that this is thinner here, this bothers me that this steel is so thin here. Um, I'm not an engineer, it may not need to be that thin, but I wish it was a little bit thicker. So those are a couple things there uh, around the hitch head that I wish were different. Finally, my last small complaint on the True Toe are these pins here. Ugh. I just worry again about losing them. They're a pain to put on and take off. That is relatively thick compared to that pin and uh, it's kind of a pain to put on and off. I'd love to see them use something similar to this next time. Finally, let's talk about cost. And I didn't put this in the pro or the con category because uh, the way you look at it, it could be either one. These are $1,000, $995, uh, which is ex a good bit more than some of the hitches we've tested. We've tested hitches anywhere from $450 up to $750. And so far, this is the most expensive one we've tested. That said, it's also outperformed those so far. So yeah, I didn't put it in the pro or the con. If you're pinching pennies, may not be for you. But if you're looking for a really good hitch, this might be your answer. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, friends, that wraps it up on the Waysafe True Toe. Now, the True Toe is involved in our hitch battle. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of those videos, and if you want to see the final video where we call out name brands and we pit them against each other, we so show you who scores better than others in different categories, make sure to subscribe, make sure to ring the bell. I usually don't tell you guys to ring the bell, but that's one way to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. And yeah, this should be a lot of fun this summer testing these hitches. I can say, so far, this one's a leader in the clubhouse. I hope this video was useful, guys, and like I said, consider subscribing. See ya.